Hi everybody, uh, Matt Rock here from London Christian High. You've probably wondered what is going on with the mobile classroom project. And I'm excited to say after 14 months of obstacles and roadblocks, it has made its way to Tanzania and it's actually being set up right now. The ultimate goal of the D-Block course is to introduce students uh, to the design process. But even more than that, it's to have them work on something that's bigger than themselves. I've been asked a number of times kind of where this idea came from for the mobile classroom project. And it's a, a complicated um, story, but to really simplify it, I noticed the need that students really wanted to work on something that had real life significance and purpose beyond themselves. Um, it was through a partnership with Hope Story that we actually moved from the idea of refugee housing into education. Uh, we realized there was a need for computers in Africa and we found our location in Tanzania. As you see, this room is very uh, small and then uh, we use this room uh, for different uh, things uh, as you see. This is the library, also is the computer lab as you see here and then also it is a teacher's office so if we want to study or to to make it practical about ICT we fail to reach our goals because uh, this room is the is not enough so yeah we had a lot of different ideas like right off like where to put like windows and doors and stuff just life changing that we're affecting a uh, community across the world and that we can take this into our future. I've never done this type of thing. It's quite big and it has already made history personally in my life. So I will definitely remember all of this. Probably one of the most rewarding parts of doing something like this is having the opportunity to put your faith into action. Um, I can honestly say I've never, never had the opportunity to do it on this scale. Starting a project which to be frankly honest, I didn't know if we had the skills, the finances, or um, the people in place to make it happen. So walking through that step by step, it grows your faith um, as a believer. You realize that um, God's going to provide. And it was extremely exciting to see that um, trickle down to the students where each day they came in with a level of uncertainty, yet God provided. And it was just amazing to see, by the end of the course, the bond that they had formed with each other. And these are students that probably wouldn't have gelled um, on a day-to-day -day basis, but because we had this common goal and we saw God's provision over and over again, it was an incredibly rewarding experience. Well, I was uh, just so pumped up to finally see the shipping container make its way to Africa. Um, 14 months of dealing with tax exemptions and obstacles and roadblocks and frustration. It was amazing to see um, the truck roll in, the doors open up, and kids just pile in and see their excitement. London Christian High School, you are the best. We love you. When I first um, started this project, I thought it was just really myself and the nine students that were going to pull this off. I soon realized that this, there was no possible way this would have happened without um, some key partnerships. So a special mention goes out to Hope Story, which was our key partnership. Um, they are uh, directly affiliated with the school that this went to. Um, Derek Court, which is a close friend of mine, he actually handled all of the logistics and also uh, was the first donor to the project. Um, the multiple businesses as well that have helped out, um, a huge thank you to them. Um, for City Fire Protection as well for just helping us facilitate some of those businesses to um, contribute. Um, our London Christian High community um, and uh, the families and the students. Uh, there's so many people to thank for this, um, so a huge thank you.